Hi everyone and welcome to Pros Abilities. If you frequent my Tumblr, you'll notice I've been thinking about doing this for a little while now. And if you have a brief poke around my small channel here, you'll see I tried this before. But I promise that this time it'll be much more regular. You see, this time I'm doing it for me. Of course, that's not to say these videos aren't for you guys. If they were 100% about me, I would keep them on my computer or never record them in the first place. I would just go back to talking to myself like I usually do. You see, I decided I needed to make some major changes in my life. Let me start off by saying I already have a pretty good life. I have a steady job with the best boss in the world. I have an apartment to myself that is admittedly a little messier than I would normally like it. I only have five more courses until I'm finished with grad school. And then I get to go back to paying my student loans. Yay. But despite all that, I was getting into a routine. There's nothing I fear worse than living my life in a routine. Stability is nice, of course. But as soon as your life becomes predictable, as soon as it becomes measurable from the minutes it takes you to go from one task to the next, you start to stagnate. You stop being challenged. You stop trying new things because you let yourself get bogged down with excuses. And that's what was happening to me. I work full time. I volunteer a lot. And I'm busy with grad school. Those are all very valid reasons for letting parts of myself go to the wayside. And, and no one would blame me for them. No one blames me for writing less in the last two years than I have since I learned how to write. Of course I'm busy with my online courses. And no one calls me a shut-in for spending more time in my apartment and less going out and talking to new people and exchanging ideas. I do this all the time for work and I live on an island where everybody's twice my age or in the military and therefore in and out a lot. I have valid reasons to have stopped doing them in the last couple years. But the thing is, these are aspects of my personality that I've really missed. And I can continue to make excuses that once things change, once this really big project is over at work, once I finish grad school, then I can return to them. But the reality is that as long as I let these things get in my way, as long as I stop myself because of these very valid reasons, a new, very valid reason will come along to take its place. I'll never get back to doing the things I love. And no one would criticize me for it. So I need to hold myself accountable. No more waiting for a moment to breathe. I need to make my own space. So here we are. As far as writing, I'm participating in NaNoWriMo this year to give me a kickstart back into writing. I'll post my word count in the corner here every week. If you're also a writer, I'd love to hear what you're working on or your word count. We can help keep each other accountable. I promise to make these videos at least once a week so that I can get out of my own head more and back into the world. If you guys are here to join me for that conversation, that would be fantastic. As far as the other changes I need to make in my life, well, those will have to wait for another video. And I still need to give you guys that tour of the apartment that I promised all those years ago. Now that I have real people furniture and I have settled in. But before that, a major cleanup is overdue. Anyways, thank you all for joining me. I hope to see you in the comments. If not, I hope you're curled up in your favorite nook with a book or a fanfic. I'll see you guys again soon. My hair is out of control. I am so overdue for a haircut. Next week. Thank you.